Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So for the next few minutes, we will get into user account creation, task 1, and user account modification, task 2, using command line only. Command line is a very powerful tool for admins and technicians, allowing us to perform scripting, automation, and execution of various different command related tasks. So by logging into this PC, with the password of password123, that is with a capital P, we will demonstrate this awesome tool, add CMD or command prompt and computer management to the taskbar to make our lives a little bit easier and let's get started. Now open command prompt as administrator and computer management. Locate local users and groups via computer management and click on users. And note that PC is the only active user account. And armed with this knowledge, we can now create a new user account for task 1. Using command prompt type in net, this will display various different options associated with the command. And in particular, note user, which is interchangeable with users, and local group. Type in net user to show the available user accounts, for example, PC. And we can now type in net user space forward slash help to bring up a file for the options and explanations for net user commands. We will use the forward slash add, forward slash full name active colon yes no, and forward slash login password change colon yes no switches for task one. And once you're comfortable with these descriptions, we can type in net user sam password 123 space forward slash add space forward slash full name and in quotation marks, Sam John Smith, space forward says active colon yes, space forward says login password change colon yes. And what this will do is, is this will create a user account called Sam, who has a password of password123, that is with a capital P, a full name of Sam John Smith, an account that is enabled, and where a new password will be required when Sam logs in. Open computer management, Sam will appear. Type in net user and Sam should be there too. To complete task one, sign out and sign in with the new Sam user account with a password of password123, that is with a capital P, and we'll be prompted to change the password due to the forward slash login password change colon yes option. We will use p at sswrd123. Also note that the profile might require additional information for us to input. Input this information and task 1, create user accounts, is now complete. We can now sign out of this user account and sign back into PC. We will then begin with task 2. Head back into command prompt and type in net user. This will show that both Sam and PC will now exist as user accounts and note that if you type in net user sam new password it will change sam's old password to new password changing passwords can change your encryption key so make sure that you decrypt any data and back this up first if you type in net user sam space forward says full name in quotation marks john smith this will change the full name to john smith and we can then verify the change by typing in net user sam cls will clear the screen of tech and we will now combine local group and user commands type in net local group and this will display the various different groups that user accounts can be members of note that administrators is towards the top of the list and users towards the bottom of the list and if you go to computer management into sam click on members of advanced find now you will see the same groups there. To elevate SAM to administrator status, input net local group administrators SAM, space forward slash add, and then enter. Note that administrators was in the list from earlier, so make sure your spelling is correct. We can now verify that SAM is now a member of administrators and users via net user SAM and computer management. We can remove SAM from users by typing in net local group users. SAM space forward slash delete and then enter. Note that users was in the list from earlier so make sure your spelling is correct there as well. 
We can verify that Sam is now a member of administrators only via the net user Sam command or computer management. Type CLS to clear the screen. And to change the actual user account's name from Sam to John, we will use a slightly different command. Type in WMIC user account where name equals Sam rename John and note that Sam will be in quotation marks. We can verify the name change via the net user command and by refreshing computer management. Type in net user John space forward slash active colon no and enter to disable the account. Note that John now has an arrow pointing down in computer management showing that it is no longer active. Though generally not recommended, we can also delete the user account by typing in net users john space forward slash delete and then enter. Note that John is no longer available to us, it is completely disappeared and note that this action cannot be undone. So be very careful about deleting user accounts. And that is task 2 concluded as we have modified user accounts. Thank you YouTube, I hope you found this video constructive. Please feel free to leave a comment, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you like what you see here and I shall see you all again soon.